worst nightmare to be honest. Don't eat it. It's crazy and just was a real whirlwind of a week. I got kids about to run over my feet with the tricycle. We did a toy rotation last night and I thought I would show you kind of what we did. Very simple, I just switched out the books. We do this every few weeks. Keeps the kids really interested in their toys. We took out the little dolly bed with new dollies in there. And Nola too! Yeah, Nola loves her toy rotation. She's been rocking them since And Nola that time. too! Yes, baby. And I walk. And then we have our Bible that kind of the Bible stays here. The little animals, we have our tic-tac-toe, rainbow, flute, and then they have their little animals down here. Oh, and then the train tracks at Noah's request. <laughs> getting done making my coffee as well as having a little bit of breakfast and going to start some homeschool and then get on with our day so welcome back to the vlog today is just like a typical day in the life of a mom homemaker you guys know the videos Ugh. Noel's over here emptying out like all of the trains you know how you like clean and put everything nice together and then like two seconds they just rip it apart yeah mom life so we have our lessons here. I just laminated these. I'm sorry if my voice is raspy. I am like tired. It has been a very long week and I will tell you more about that later in the video. But when I get a chance after homeschool and stuff is done, but let's do homeschool and do that real quick. Oh, I totally forgot. I, I did, let's just act. Hold on. Let's just act like I did not forget to put the clothes from the washer to the dryer yesterday. And now I have to rewash them all over again. So, <laughs> have to rewash those clothes. I hate when that happens. Not such a waste of water, but I forgot.
So plans have changed a little bit. I have my niece here and we're gonna be watching her for the next few hours. It is later on in the day. The day has like gotten away from me. I've been just honestly chilling, hanging out. And the kids are hungry again, so I'm gonna feed them. I didn't even do my hair today, you guys. Like I'm just honestly chilling. Very raw vlog. And then I got kids about to run over my feet with the tricycle. You guys are hungry again? Okay, we'll feed you again. We're having sourdough pizza for dinner, so I'm gonna get that going in a little bit. I was doing dishes, but didn't finish. <laughs> hey, you guys, you're hungry. Okay, okay, okay. Let me put Meadow down so she can crawl and stuff. She's crawling, you guys. Hasn't she gotten so big? If you've been watching my channel for a while, you remember when she was like a newborn, and now she's so big. So big. Stop. I have yet to make my bed. I have blocks all over my floor which are dangerous. If you've ever stepped on one of these vintage blocks, they definitely hurt. Um, I have some toys over here that I pulled out for little baby Meadow and I'm going to, I wash them and let them dry. So these are some of my kids' old little toys and I'm gonna put them out. Looking back at these toys is just like crazy how big my kids have gotten. So we have the Natra Satin Teething Star and then a whole bunch of these and little Rattle and yeah, so she enjoys these when she is over. <laughs> is she swabbing? No, it's okay. Those are for her to chew on. Don't chew on them. No, it's okay for her to chew on them. That's what she's supposed to do. She's teething. Aww, you want to take a bite? Yeah, she want to take a bite? Yeah, yeah, just like a pizza. <laughs> you guys are so Here and Meadow is napping. Oh, look, can you, you guys go? Bag oh, bagel. 
I'm drinking some kombucha and Meadow is sleeping so I'm gonna take this time to edit and get some things done because I have way fallen behind this last week. And we went to a party. And I'm not gonna explain it now but there's a, uh, there's like a whole chat I want to have with you guys a little bit later but I think this is gonna be a two part. Nola please excuse me. Okay. I think this is gonna be a two part. <laughs> This is gonna be a two-part vlog, like a two-day vlog. I got you, Mama. Okay, they see your guys' bagels. I know you guys are proud of those. Good job. Um, I got yeah, you, Mama. Mama. Make them for me. Mm -hmm. I got you, Mama. Okay, no one wants to see you. Okay, good job. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This is gonna be a double-day vlog. Dude, so dude, please, dude. In your life. Because I love you. I love you. I can't get a few words in as well. I love see. you. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here and do some editing and drink yeah. some kombucha. And Noah's drinking some yeah. kombucha because he really likes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so a bit of dinner plans that have changed. My mom is here and she wants to do KFC for dinner. And my niece Mommy. and you know, just family over here. So Mommy, we gonna Yes, we made sourdough pizza. I think I'm still gonna make it for the kids though because Mommy. I really, don't want them eating, I really don't want them eating fast food, but I think for the adults, we're probably just going to have KFC, get a big old bucket of fried chicken and just let that be that. Wow, it's been a long time since we had KFC, like probably years, so this will be a nice little change. We cook almost all of our meals from scratch, so, or as much as possible. And then when we eat out, it's usually like local businesses or restaurants, so... Wow, it's been a while, but we're gonna enjoy it. So I just wanted to be real with you guys. I could have put some B-roll or whatever I have from other videos when we made sourdough pizza or filmed it later and put it in, but I wanted to keep it real with you guys because that's what we do here. So yes, we're eating KFC tonight. Do we do it often? No, not at all, but we're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna enjoy it. And who doesn't enjoy a little bit of junk food from time to time, okay? Let's do it again. I'm taking our pizza dough that we already prepped our sourdough pizza dough and I'm gonna put it in the freezer because if you leave sourdough out it will um, bulk ferment even further and I don't want it any more sour tasting than it already will be don't get me wrong I love sourdough taste pizza all the, all of the things but I don't want it like super sour so I'm just going to throw that in there and let that freeze and then I'll take it out tomorrow and we'll have it tomorrow so don't worry like it won't go to waste or anything we're still gonna eat that good precious dough we made and prep just for another day for tomorrow and I think you can keep sourdough um, pizza dough in the oven I mean in the oven in the freezer for like a few months so if you want to make it ahead of time and meal prep, that is a good one to do. Also, sorry, not sorry for the dim lights and the music. We're over here just vibing out, so. We got habanero, mango habanero, lemon pepper, and barbecue. And then the little celery and carrots and some fries. Okay, it has been a few days since I last vlogged. I just finished filming another video. Um, and so now I'm gonna fold some laundry and just kind of 
ew, flies. And just kind of catch you up on what has been going on. Sorry, I'm like putting some of the stuff away that I just filmed. I just finished filming another video and I wanted to sit with you guys and give you a little update on what happened with my Instagram account because that has been crazy. Um, I had a whole, <laughs> it was like four, four to five days of panic basically over me losing my Instagram account. And you guys, like, let me tell you, I was so sad, embarrassingly sad. Like, it wasn't like I wasn't doing all my normal things, but just my mood. I was just so sad and scared I wouldn't be able to get it back. And basically what happened is that... You guys are, like, not centered. Okay, basically what happened is that my Instagram couldn't be verified because of my old number, and I don't really have that number anymore. It was just, so basically my Instagram account could not be verified because... I don't have that number anymore and that's what I made the account with so it was just like a whole thing and Instagram locked me out and it was just so devastating because I've been on there for so many years and I didn't know what to do to get it back so Instagram is a nightmare to get a hold of and I just couldn't get a hold of anybody it took me I think five days to get back in and it was just really difficult just so difficult just not knowing if I, like I didn't know where to go from here. And I have an update for you guys now that I am back into my Instagram account, but it was just so hard to get a hold of Instagram and let them know. It's not like they have this number you could just call. They have a number, but it literally says you're not gonna be able to get a hold of anyone. Like, what is that? So that was just crazy and just was a real whirlwind of a week to say the least. And, you know, all this is going on and I'm homeschooling and homemaking like I normally do. And it was just so sad to be recording things, not knowing if I was going to be able to post them for you guys or not. And also, it was just so daunting to think that I was going to have to start over, all the way over, a new Instagram account. Like, I don't even grow really on Instagram. It just seems stagnant. And that's fine, like I don't care about numbers, but I just, that's how I connect with you guys. Like yes, you guys leave comments and I appreciate every single one of your comments, like truly and dearly. I love talking to you guys down there in the comment section on my videos, but it's just not a whole bunch of you. And mainly I connect with you guys on Instagram because that's just where I get my DMs and stuff like that. Or you guys comment on my stories or Whatever the case is, that's where I could take polls and get more of your opinions over there. And just the day-to-day -day stuff. So it was just really sad to not know if... Is this clean or dirty? How did this get into the clean pile? Uh, I don't even know. It looks clean, but there's a little sticky residue. Mom life. That might need to be washed again. If it was washed at all, I think it just made its way into the clean clothes. Oh, you guys should see my laundry. You should see my laundry. It's so piled up right now. So that's what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day is laundry and it's basically it. <laughs> we already have dinner made so that's really nice. Anyways, I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. I just feel chatty because it's just been one hell of a week <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah. So I'm back into my account now. Praise the Lord. I was really asking God like is this my sign to maybe not do social media anymore is this just not for me because i was previously praying a few days prior to give me a sign to see what i'm supposed to be doing and so it was a little devastating when i was like oh maybe this is a sign i'm not supposed to be doing social media because i just prayed about it right like two days prior to this happening and so i had to find i was watching youtube video after youtube video trying to figure out how to get back in and what to do and who to contact and all that stuff it's kind of like a content creator's worst nightmare, to be honest. Is something like that happening? Because you just work so many hours and time building this platform. And even if you're not building it, like for me, I just do this as a hobby and do it to have like a community with you guys. Like I don't know if my channel will ever be big and that's okay if it's not. I just love making content and videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just love making content and videos for you guys. It's just so much fun to me. It gives me like a good positive outlet besides just being a mom. And this is something I started after having or having postpartum depression with my first baby. 
I just needed something else to do besides just being a mom. And that's how my channel started and all that. So I know my YouTube channel was still active and I can get in and all that stuff, but I didn't know how to go about posting videos anymore because I mean, unless you guys have the bell notification or subscribed, you're not going to see my videos. So I was just like, man, this is going to be crazy trying to let people know about my new videos. Because I think a lot of you guys see it on Instagram and then come on over to here to watch the new video. That's basically how I promote it. And yeah, so it was just like a whole thing. And I just want to say I'm so thankful for you guys and this community. Anyone who supports and watches my videos like truly means so much to me. I feel like I don't say it enough and I feel like every content creator does this spiel but like seriously I truly appreciate you all and I'm just so happy to be back in contact with you guys so yeah I was MIA for a little bit and hence why this video is days later after filming that vlog is because that happened and I was just like in the midst of trying to figure everything out figure out what to do figure out if this was even for me anymore and yeah so that's what's been going on it has been a crazy week to say the least but i'm just so happy that that problem is resolved because i was not trying to start all over again on instagram like definitely not i was just thinking about maybe i'll just give up then if that's what this is i just thought it was a sign but i guess not because i'm back on and everything is back in full swing again and it feels really good and i feel some sort of relief for sure Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this video was all over the place, so I'm sorry that it was kind of all over the place. But that's why. And I'm still going to upload this vlog because it's real life and that's what's been going on. I'm going to finish folding this laundry. And thank you guys again so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.